hi everybody this is Julissa thank you again for coming back to my channel it is Friday January 21st 2022 I'm here to give you breaking news guys um, there's a lot happening and it's just sad to see people dying and things like that so I'm here to report to you guys more than 60 people were killed today in an earth strike in Yemen and this includes children also so 60 people including children more than 60 people were killed and more than 100 others injured in an airstrike in Yemen according to the A organization um, the death toll mounts in particularly violent week for the war-torn country at least three children are among the dozens of people killed in the past day the humanitarian organization um, has they explained that in a statement and they, they believe the number could be even higher. So, you know, let's start sending prayers out to everybody affected over there. It's just sad to me, like all this stuff that's happening, you know. Um, though no one has claimed responsibility for the airstrikes, the only forces capable, capable of carrying them out, out the, are the Saudi-led coalition, which intervened in the Yemen war in 2015. And against the dominant healthy, healthy forces, that's what it says here. In recent days, it has ramped up its airstrike following a claim attack in the capital of United Arab Emirates on Monday that left two Indian citizens and one Pakistani dead. So, you know, they've been battling out there. It's been a while, you know, I feel like there's always something over there, you know, and not to sound like mean or anything like that but it's just sad that it's, it never comes to an end there's always something like that and it's just sad to me the sad part is that families and innocent people have to live through this whole thing for decades you know like it never seems to cease so also the internet was down across most of yemen on friday adding to the civilians distress that they attempted to contact friends and relatives they were saying so the overnight strike targeted communication infrastructure, so that's the reason, in the poor city and also killed three children in the plane soccer nearby. That is just crazy. You know, they're innocent victims, you know, paying with their life for this. And the media communication uh, advocacy director for the company Save the Children said that more than 60 adults, adults were killed early Friday morning when another airstrike hit a detention center in the northern city of Sadat. And the toll climbing is rap the, the death toll is climbing rapidly. So it is sad to me that, you know, this is all happening, but you know, we all know that we're living in the last days, so this is just another, you know, prophecy that, that is being fulfilled before our eyes. Guys, I had put out a lot of videos, you know, about everything that's happening, you know, for some reason and it's hard to believe that um in a lot of countries that were so pro mandates and restrictions and crazy things like that, they're all basically backtracking back and they're basically just kind of like scratching everything that they said they were gonna make mandatory and make it even to a law. Even here in the state that I, that I live in, uh, Connecticut, that's also being pulled back. And I wonder what is really happening here. And it's just sad to see that Austria just declared um, compulsory um, first and second dosage that they made it into a low effective you know I think it, it begins February 1st so we have to pray for the people in Austria too it is insane to me that they're gonna force this first and second dosage into people right now so I cannot even imagine why you know I know they're protesting on the streets and like fighting for their rights I cannot imagine what like what how that's gonna be you know when they're knocking on your doors forcing it on you and people are crying you know there's a lot happening so not to bring any sadness nothing like that but we have to be vigilant and watch what's happening because the days are short and we have to pray for other people i always say you know just because it's not happening right outside your window you cannot just be oh that doesn't affect me let me just continue with my life we have to pray for our brothers and sisters okay there's a lot of people crying out there so let's continue to pray guys pray for everybody affected in yemen pray for the people living in austria right now who are faced with something i think is criminal against humanity 
that they have to have comp comp sorry um first and second doses you guys know what i'm referring to anyways guys thank you so much for coming back to my channel have a great day everybody god bless channel please don't forget to subscribe and share this video and i hope to see you in the next video have a great day everybody god bless